Two days after a fire destroyed a dozen units at an Antioch apartment complex, residents are still trying to get their lives back on track. This evening, some of them are being told they owe money for items lost in the fire. Hard to believe. News Channel 5's John Quill Newland joins us live from our newsroom. John Quill, it's just one more thing for these displaced residents to have to worry about. That's right, guys. In the midst of everything, these residents have to think about replacing. Some are being told they owe hundreds of dollars for their lost Comcast equipment. This one right here with the patio just half standing. Linda Newman looks over the damage of her second floor apartment unit while going down her checklist of things to take care of on the list, canceling her cable bill. After navigating the tedious and sometimes time consuming phone call that is the automated answering system, she finally gets a representative on the phone. I was calling to make sure we didn't have to pay for the equipment that was lost in the fire. Because normally the system will automatically charge you for any equipment we don't return. Newman isn't the only one getting the runaround from her cable company. Josie Green and her family moved into the complex just weeks ago. We had our services installed maybe two or three days before the fire. Her conversation with a cable company didn't go as she planned. Well, first I tried to see if we could get out of it, and then she said, well, no, I'm sorry. Green was told she owed about $400 for the equipment. She'd get a bill in a few weeks and then have 30 days to pay it, or it would go on her credit report. When we're trying to think of diapers and clothing and shoes to even just go to work to be able to pay for our bills. Um, having that kind of fee added on to all the, the burdens that we already have is not something we need to look well, forward to. They told another customer, even though it was lost in the fire, that she would have to pay for the equipment. And that's not right. I agree. Um, and, you know, if this is the first time I've, I've had a situation like this. We contacted Comcast to get clarification on the company's policy. Because this is one I will fight. You know, even if people don't have insurance, this is one they need to fight on. A spokesperson for the company says there was likely a misunderstanding with employees and no one with or without insurance would be responsible to pay for the equipment. I'll put that money towards diapers, <laughs> things that we really need to spend on, yeah. spend the money on. Comcast says, well, it's not usual. Sometimes the representatives who answer the phone may not always be aware of the company policies, especially in emergencies like this one. Of course, they say if any customers have problems, they should always ask to speak with a manager. Live in the newsroom, John Newland, News Channel 5 HD.